Hello, and welcome to this video on 10 ways to build wealth at any age. Money is a topic that affects us all, and regardless of your age, financial security is something we all strive for. Whether you're a young adult just starting out, or someone approaching retirement, building wealth is a journey that requires focus, discipline, and persistence. Nowadays, more and more people are struggling with financial stress, and the thought of building wealth can feel daunting. With the rising cost of living and a fluctuating economy, it can be challenging to know where to start. But don't worry, in this video, we'll be sharing practical tips and strategies that can help you build wealth and achieve your financial goals. So, let's get started. 1. Set Life Goals What is financial freedom to you? Everyone has a general desire for it, but that's too vague a goal. You need to get specific about amounts and deadlines. The more specific your goals, the higher the likelihood of achieving them. Note down these three objectives. What your lifestyle requires. How much you should have in your bank account to make that possible. What age is the deadline to save that amount? Next, count backward from your deadline aged to your current age and establish financial mileposts at regular intervals between the two dates. Write all amounts and deadlines down carefully and put the goal sheet at the front of your financial binder. 2. Make a monthly budget. Making the monthly household budget and sticking to it is the best way to guarantee that all bills are paid and savings are on track. It's also a regular routine that reinforces your goals and bolsters resolve against the temptation to splurge. 3. Pay off credit cards in full. Credit cards and other high-interest consumer loans are toxic to wealth building. Make it a point to pay off the full balance each month. Student loans, mortgages, and similar loans typically have much lower interest rates. Paying them off is not an emergency. However, paying these lower interest loans on time is still important, and on-time payments will build a good credit rating. 4. Create automatic savings. Pay yourself first, enroll in your employer's retirement plan, and make full use of any matching contribution benefit, which is essentially free money. It's also wise to have an automatic withdrawal into an emergency fund, which can be tapped for unexpected expenses, as well as an automatic contribution to a brokerage account or something similar. Ideally, the money for the emergency fund and the retirement fund should be pulled out of your account the same day you receive your paycheck, so it never even touches your hands. Keep in mind that the recommended amount to save in an emergency fund depends on your individual circumstances. Also, tax-advantaged retirement accounts come with rules that make it difficult to get your hands on your cash should you suddenly need it, so that account should not be your only emergency fund. 5. Start investing now. Bad stock markets, known as bear markets, can make people question the wisdom of investing. But historically, there has been no better way of row your money. The magic of compound interest alone will row your money exponentially, but you do need a lot of time to achieve meaningful growth. However, remember that, for everyone except professional investors, it would be a mistake to attempt the kind of stock picking made famous by billionaires like Warren Buffett. Instead, open an online brokerage account that makes it easy for you to learn how to invest, create a manageable portfolio, and make weekly or monthly contributions to it automatically. We've ranked the best online brokers for beginners to help you get started. Remember that achieving financial freedom can be very difficult in the face of growing debt cash emergencies, medical issues, and overspending. But with discipline and careful planning, it is possible. That is the ultimate goal. 6. Watch your credit score. Your credit score is a very important number that determines the interest rate you are offered when buying a new car or refinancing a home. It also impacts the amount you pay for a range of other essentials, from car insurance to life insurance premiums. The reason credit scores have so much weight is that someone with reckless financial habits is considered likely to be reckless in other areas of life, such as not looking after their health or even driving and drinking. This is why it's important to get a credit report at regular intervals to make sure that there are no erroneous black marks ruining your good name. It may also be worth looking into a reputable credit monitoring service to protect your information. 7. Negotiate for goods and services. Many Americans are hesitant to negotiate for goods and services because they're afraid that it makes them seem cheap. Conquer this fear and you could save thousands each year. Small businesses, in particular, tend to be open to negotiation. So buying in bulk or positioning yourself as a repeat customer can open the door to good discounts. 8. Stay educated on financial issues. 
review relevant changes in tax law to ensure that all adjustments and deductions are maximized each year. Keep up with financial news and developments in the stock market, and do not hesitate to adjust your investment portfolio accordingly. Knowledge is also the best defense against fraudsters who prey on unsophisticated investors to turn a quick buck. 9. Maintain your property. Taking good care of property makes everything from cars and lawnmowers to shoes and clothes last longer. The cost of maintenance is a fraction of the cost of replacement, so it's an investment not to be missed. Learn to know the difference between the things you want and the things you need. 10. Live below your means. Mastering a frugal lifestyle means developing a mindset focused on living a good life with less, and it's easier than you think. In fact, before rising to affluence, many wealthy individuals develop the habit of living below their means. This isn't a challenge to adopt a minimalist lifestyle. It simply means learning to distinguish between the things you need and the things you want, and then making small adjustments that drive big gains for your financial health. Here we have it, our 10 ways to achieve financial goals. These 10 steps won't solve all your money problems, but they will help you develop the good habits that get you on the path to financial freedom and developing wealth at any stage of life. Simply making a plan with specific target amounts and dates reinforces your resolve to reach your goal and guards you against the temptation to overspend. Once you start to make real progress, relief from the constant pressure of escalating debt and the promise of a nest egg for retirement kick in as powerful motivators, and financial freedom is in your sights. Hope you enjoyed the video. If so, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.